welcome to another Mars Lecture. Today's lecture, we're going to be talking a little bit about the menu locations inside OT and how that can just be used for much more than just defining a space in the sky. Today's one, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about um, using menu locations to stay in high space. Let's take a look. So I've got a, uh, a poster section here right now. And as you can see, along the top, um, here are some markers. And these are typical examples of what we would use as a menu location. You can see that when we have um, when we open up our menu location window, um, it's available um, say by clicking on window and menu location. You can see we've got menu locations here, one to thirteen, and they'll correspond to different points in the screen. So uh, when we don't want to go to the info, you can click on here. And if we want to go to different points, I can just click on to whichever menu location we want to, and we can go to the next one. Um, uh, don't forget, just as a side note, that um, the shortcut is actually decimal point, the number of the menu location and the decimal point. So if I wanted to go to the base to file section, I would go point, three, point, and that would take me to the base to file section. Now that's the standard way that we, um, a lot of people would use menu location. But they can use for much more. So what I'm going to do is, um, as you can see, I'm just going to close this menu location window down. But if you see my section, it's actually got quite a lot of points in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize the menu location to only show me certain parts that I want to be working on. So our first step is I'm now going to just simply hide all of the tracks here. So I go to the track here, and I'm choosing to hide all tracks. Okay, so I've got my section. Okay, now let's say I just want to have a menu location that just shows me um, the MIDI track. So if I look at my track list, I can see that one's a MIDI track. There's a MIDI track. There's another one. So I'm just now just showing all of the MIDI tracks that I've got in my menu location here. So now I'm just looking at the MIDI track. Now this can actually be saved now exactly as a menu location. So to save them, to create a new menu location, just press the enter key on the new menu syntax, and I'm going to call this show MIDI track. Okay. Right. Now, importantly, we don't want to make it a marker here. So what we do is we make it none. Right. We're not there. We want to make it nothing. And then underneath here, we then choose the general property. So in this case, I want to actually put the store the track show and hide. So I'm just going to put it in. So now um, that was at number uh, 14. I think it's just like that. So now if I choose menu location 14, it's just going to be showing me my MIDI track. So just by way of example, I'm going to show all of the tracks. So here is everything. Okay. And now I'm going to type in, um, just click here on here and just show the MIDI track. And now that's all that's got there. Let's do another one. Hide all tracks. And now this time I'm going to show the guitar. So that's the guitar. These are all guitars you see here. All of those ones in the guitar track. And now I'm going to create another menu location. This is now menu location 15. And I'm going to do show guitar. And again, we don't want to make it a marker. We want to make it none. With track show and hide being fixed. Okay. So I've got 14 to show my MIDI track, point one four point to show my MIDI track, and point one five point to show my guitar track. Now, of course, you can do this for any types of um, any track that you want to actually show or hide. And it's great when you've got really large sections to be able to work on just the ones that um, you just to be able to see the ones that you're actually working on. So that's it. So that's just one way of using menu locations in a slightly different way. More things to come. Don't forget to check out our other Vice Lectures available on this channel. And until then, all the best.